Good day, I'm Christy with Clients First Business Solution, and today we will take a quick journey into Acumatica, focusing on the Pro MRO workspace, beginning with the first building blocks which make Pro MRO an asset to the aviation MRO community. Pro MRO Aviation is tailored to assist aircraft and engine maintenance repair and overhaul shops with making real-time connections from the shop floor to accounting by tracking all costs associated with work orders and even help ease the process of going from work order quote to a work order. The first building block is what we call customer equipment. By creating a customer equipment, you can track all work order history associated to any field utilized either in the header or the details area. You can populate specific details to a model and a serial number, and you can even add levels of ownership and specify unique attributes you may want to track and report on. So to begin, I will be into the Pro MRO workspace, and under the menus, you can choose customer equipment under profiles. Now for our demonstration today, I have created a customer equipment to start with that we will discuss and review. However, to create a new one, you would simply click the plus button here, and that does create a new record. And to begin with Acumatica, this screen may look familiar. You do have a header section as well as the detail section here on the bottom. Now to begin the aircraft ID or customer equipment ID, you can change the name of these uh, fields right here to suit your business needs. So today this one is listed as an aircraft ID. So this is the aircraft ID that we have specified. The manufacturer can be predefined in a manufacturing table that you can choose from or you can edit at the time to create a new one. The model is the model of the aircraft ID that you see here. Again, same, you can use the drop down for the predefined ones listed in a table or you can edit one and create one here to fit your needs. Specify the serial number for your aircraft ID or customer ID. The aircraft registration number. This defines the unique code assigned to a single aircraft, which is marked on the exterior of the aircraft, also known as your tail number. Aircraft reference number defines a unique identifier number for dealing with the agency on license applications, endorsements, and permits. The description field is an auto-populated field that pulls from the model and the serial number that you populate here. Business account is the customer that this particular aircraft or customer equipment is assigned to. Moving down to the details area, you'll notice three tabs. The first one is work orders. This provides you a history of all the work orders that have been completed. The aviation tab contains dates, airworthiness, aircraft ownership, specific and inspection information related to your particular aircraft or customer ID. So going into details, the date section here, if you provide a specific certification for this unit, you can specify the issue date and the expiration date. Now keep in mind that each one of these fields can be reported on. Airworthiness date, just you can populate the date of airworthiness and the specific code that was provided. Under aircraft section, you have status codes that have been predefined or you can create new ones that will fit your business that you can choose from. You can specify the engine IDs, the year, and the serial number for a little bit extra layer of detail. In the ownership section, fractional ownership is an arrangement in which multiple owners share the use and cost of purchasing and operating an aircraft. This allows you to have multiple levels of ownership that you can report on. You can specify by the checkbox here if this is an FBO maintenance requirement, which is a fixed base operator. The inspections do. You can have specific annual inspections that you would like to report on. ELT is emergency locator transmitter inspection date. Your transponder is an inspection due date along with your static system, which defines the due date of the pitted static system sensors. So each one of these levels here under aviation give you that extra level of classification that you can specify directly to your aircraft or equipment ID that can be reported on. 
Now attributes are associated directly to your aircraft ID and that also gives you an extra layer of values that you can report on as well. Now once you have defined all of the fields that fit your business needs, you would simply just hit the save button here and now you have this customer equipment created to begin work. This will conclude our demonstration on customer equipment, but to learn more you can always call us at 1-800-331-8382.